it is universal accreditation. Wherever you go, you can find jobs and you can study and you can be confident with your diploma. Some of our accreditations are uh, engineering accreditation for ABET, TEDCOL, ASIN, and NAB, as you have mentioned. And the institutional memberships, we have many, and if we want to list some, our international association of universities and the quality system management memberships. Yes. Maybe we can continue with the programs and the undergraduate things that we have. Yes. We do. We have, how many um, uh, undergrads do we have? We have uh, a listings of architecture and arts and sciences, business and economics, yes. communication and media studies. We have education, engineering, health and science, law, medicine, pharmacy and tourism. And also we have applied uh, disciplines and uh, disciplines and we also have computer and technology, foreign languages as well. We have a various amount of majors that you can uh, uh, apply to and um, my, my, myself I told you I applied in architecture and it's uh, something that is only for the strong and very difficult to to um, study but it is very lovely as a course and as you can see from the listings that we have we have uh, quite various amounts of uh, uh, majors that you can apply to so what else can you tell us about these majors we can add to our programs also, we, we have online programs, uh, which are Banking and Finance online with thesis, Banking and Finance online without thesis, and also we have Hotel Management online without thesis. Perfect. Let's, let's move on to our scholarships. Uh, EMU provides that may cover up to 100% of the annual tuition fees. Yeah. We have educational support scholarships. We have merit-based scholarships for international students. We have governmental scholarships that you can apply when you arrive here. And we have teaching and research assistantships. Also, when it comes to scholarships, um, we've had uh, numbers of students that also perform well in school. So if you were to get a 4.0 GPA, they'd give you 100% of your, uh, your scholarship fee returned to you. Also, I have a personal friend of mine who is a, an athlete, uh, a sports grad, and he's in the EMU's Crows, and he is also getting 100% scholarship just from his athleticism, which is something I'd, I love to do. And uh, we also have uh, research assistants um, that you are working for the university and they will also give you 100% scholarship if you are working full time for them. So personally, I'll be doing that as well. Um, we have uh, various other things and um, you just have to apply and you understand from the listings that we have. We have various type of scholarships that you can go through and fit through your liking. So what else can you tell me about um, the, the centers that we have here in, uh, in, in EMU? Yeah, we have more than 30 research centers actually, like Continuing Education Center, like Building Sciences Research Center, Mobile Health Research Center, and so on. Uh, shall we talk about more about exchange programs that we have? Yeah, what can you tell us about exchange programs? Well, we have a wide range of schools that we are collaborating and this is a very good experience for our students uh, for inbound and outbound so the coming and the students that we have that they're going to go to exchange program they are very lucky because uh, we have been signing MOUs with different universities and this is a very different experience for them to join and have a different experience the international collaboration we have over 150 academic collaborations with the institutions around the world. So these collaborations we will give you academic time and period for your individual purposes. Some of them are like one of the best universities in UK, which is University of Warwick. So the students that we have or the students that are going to apply will have the opportunity to study at one of the world's best university and they can study this 
inside Eastern Mediterranean University. So their campus is in EMU. So it's just in there and just integrated and very easy to use. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Some of the programs are supply chain and logistics management mm. and engineering business. That is wonderful. Yes. The other international collaborations are with Bologna University. We have Master of Law, the Comparative Legal Studies. And also, maybe we can move on to talk about some summer camps and the language summer schools. School. I remember yes. um, <laughs> I did apply in summer school uh, back in the last two summers, actually. The, one, the last summer and the one before it. Well, we had um, visitors coming from Ukraine, from Russia, from Kazakhstan, and also from Arab countries as well. Um, the experience was uh, exquisite, very uh, energetic as well. We had uh, kids of all ages, we have uh, overage, underage, and they were all having a good time together. They learned English in the morning, and then we had activities at night, and we went and saw Cyprus. It was uh, taking them through uh, trips going through Gerna, Lafkosha, from Augusta, and seeing the ruins and all that. They loved every single part of it. We had a blast, you know. The, uh, the, the kids that came, they were the sweetest people. I've learned Russian from them and they learned <laughs> English from me. You know, it, was, uh, it was a wonderful experience to share with them. Um, they, they also have uh, uh, ways to, uh, to show you as uh, when you're working in the international office, they help you um, teach you leadership skills and they also show you how to guide people, help people as well. And uh, also in EMU, we, we hope to gather people together and try to make a community of our own. If we, if we are going to talk about the facilities of the university, the library, the transportation and the sport complex, yeah. um, the library has more than 1,600 books, That's a lot of e books. journal subscriptions, e-books and the journals are more than 62,000 so this is a <laughs> rich library. Exactly, you have all the information in the world. Mm -hmm. Even uh, when it comes to your, um, your transportation uh, through the EMU, we have bus lines going through from your campus to all the region of Famagusta so you really don't need to worry about uh, going through Famagusta on foot. You just get on one of the yellow buses and it takes you right to EMU. <laughs> The accommodation uh, opportunities for our students, we have around or more than 10,000 bed capacity on campus. And our dormitories are standard EMU dormitories and the private dormitories that students can select where they're going to stay. How was your dormitory experience on your arrival? Well, when it comes to the dormitory experience, um, I personally did not live in the dorms as much as uh, everybody else because I came from Libya uh, in a party of four. It was my, me, my brother, and my two friends. Mm -hmm. The first three days we stayed at Dao 3 and uh, they put us in a room together. It was a free accommodation, yes, I guess, it was, because you know. we provide free accommodation for our students on their arrival. Yes. So we give them some time. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Even at the year 2015 when I first arrived, I arrived in summer. And uh, it was a, uh, a what's it called, um, a kind of a desert plain because it was uh, far from home of, uh, when I first came and um, I landed in a desert area. And so once I saw that, I said, is this I e Cyprus and is this EMU? I didn't feel like I was going to be a part of it. And then I asked the locals, I said, what's going on with the weather? And that was the first time e uh, uh, Cyprus had an actual desert storm for the duration of four days. But after the four days cleared up, I started to see like green fields and uh, I started to see the lovely things that, I, you know, that Cyprus had to offer, the beaches, the ruins, the tourism. And it was actually a very nice place to fit into mm -hmm. and uh, accommodate myself into. And I really noticed that this island was unique. So uh, upon arrival, we were, um, we were uh, greeted by the orientation that took us uh, from the airport to, uh, to the dormitories. And then later during that week, we had tours going from, uh, from Augusta to Gerna, from Augusta to Lafkosha, seeing all the sites that you wanted to see. It was 
a very lovely and uh, uh, amazing bonding experience with I met new friends and uh, you, you meet new people as well and it's just gathered together in a very lovely community from the start. Yes, and the orientation assistants are very helpful. And they are, they are. They help you with all your registration during the, uh, at the register's office and yeah. accommodation. All, all the help desks are 24 hours available yeah. from <laughs> busy, the airport busy, busy. to your room. Yeah. Yes, uh, if you're going to talk about the sport facilities and activities at EMU, you know, we have a wide facilities and the sports center and the gym and the indoor and open door activities, the tennis courts, plus the un as a student, what can you say about the campus life, your experience, like you wake up and how do you spend your day? And the societies, like do you get on, do you find your friends and... Yeah, well when it comes to the, um, the sports facilities and all the facilities that EMU has to offer, um, I've used uh, I've used almost all of them for now. Um, the EMU has a stadium which it holds games and ceremonies and even f uh, concerts. Uh, the first uh, first year that I arrived was uh, a concert from a Turkish artist, and I had no idea what Turkish music was, but I came to the liking of it because of the vibe and the the people um, gathering together, and it was it was a very nice, spacious uh, stadium that you can have multiple things done in there. It was, uh, it was a lovely experience and also uh, the facilities that we have um, they, they also collab with everything that you need so there is the stadium if you want to train in the morning there are the gyms if you're also into fitness and all that we have a gymnasium that you can play volleyball soccer and there's also outdoor fields which you can uh, reg uh, reserve per hour and then just play with your friends as football and all that and uh, when it comes to the, uh, the gathering of campus, we also have various restaurants. We can go from cafes to, uh, to anything you can gather with your friends. Very vari various and uh, social gatherings that you can um, collab and have uh, small gatherings with your friends. Just uh, a little social time, you know. Yeah. And it's a, it's a very lovely uh, facility. And of course, EMU is huge <laughs> like, you know yes actually it's nine kilometers square it campus. is it is it is something else like you will kind of get lost when you first arrive but then you'll learn your way through the shortcuts the south campus the north campus yeah. and the dormitory <laughs> so this we, is another we had world. to navigate with a map you know <laughs> that's how big it was you know it is. so what can you tell us about the tours we have a wide range of cultural and historical sites as well as areas of nat natural beauty for visits and uh, excur excursions. So I think you also experienced this when yeah. you came for orientation Those period. Those were the, uh, the, the ones that they took us on. And also, mm -hmm. even after the orientations, uh, I don't think I had enough, so I kept going on more of the tours that they took us around. They took us around through uh, various places as well. And uh, also we have the student societies which have tours as well and I'm just 24-7 signing up for each and every activity that they have. So the students, they have their own societies? They do, they do. So uh, we have Libya, we have Cameroon, we have Egypt, we have many others that I'm not even able to mention now. More than 108 nationalities. So exactly. they all have a society and they organize activities. They do, they do. So we spoke about our nine kilometers square huge campus and what, let's talk about also our EMU private beach club. Yes, that the beach we have. club is one of the iconic things we have in EMU because what is an island without its beaches, right? So when you go to EMU, it's, uh, it has everything you need. There's beach, uh, beach beds, there's uh, umbrellas, sun beds and all that. And there's also the pool, the restaurant area and everything you can have to experience at the beach, you know. Uh, we also have the surfing clubs that are uh, at EMU's beach club where you obviously would learn surfing, windsurfing and other uh, water, uh, water and aquatic uh, activities as well. I think scuba diving, we don't we have it? Scuba diving we have and also don't forget we have Sand and Sculpturing Festival. Well, that yeah. <laughs> Those, I actually applied in I think 2017 or 18, we got first place. We made a sort of turtle with a snake. It was a, a lovely sculpture that we 
me and my friends had the, the honor of winning first place. So <laughs> I think that's the one of the best organizations that we have on campus, and students are very enjoying it. They are, they are really. Yes, uh, shall we move on obtaining an admission on? What can you tell us about admissions? Like, what, uh, as a student of EMU? Okay, like, first of all, I would like to mention that obtaining an ad admission is free. And um, we have admission requirements, of course. Uh, before that, I would like to uh, mention about our admission process is open for application whole year for two intakes, fall semester, which is September, and spring semester, which starts at February. So our next in intake uh, semester that you can apply for is 2020-2021 fall semester, which will start in 2020 September. Please note that our online application is free and it is open to all international students. Let's move on to admission criteria. Our admission criteria varies from country to another. To check your country specific eligibility, please check our website. And let's talk about our faculties that we have. And Let's see the programs also. We have Faculty of Engineering, Faculty of Health Sciences, Faculty of Pharmacy, Faculty of Tourism, Faculty of Medicine, Faculty of Law, Faculty of Arts and Sciences, Faculty of Education, Faculty of Dentistry, Business and Economics, communication and media studies. Also, we have schools of tourism and hospitality, tourism, uh, school of business and finance, school of computing and technology. And you can see the programs of them. So, Let's talk about the dormitories. Don't. Before we move on to dormitories, maybe we need to check some of the questions that... Yes, because be I saw some, some comments. Yeah. Yes. So uh, the students want to get admission. And Esra Hanum just mentioned about the admission and how to apply. And I will give more details later about the documents which are necessary for admission. What are the procedures into getting admission into pharmacy and medicine, the cost and every other requirements? We are going to talk about this in our... Yes. The bachelor degree admission, <coughs> we are going to mention all the details. Okay, so the questions are mostly on how can admission. I apply and the admission details. So maybe we can give some information about your admission experience and then move on to the dormitory. <laughs> yes, um, when I first came across EMU, um, how did I come across EMU in the beginning? I was in Libya at the time and my father's cousin uh, requested EMU in Cyprus because he had sent his uh, son to, to study in EMU from uh, since I think 2013. So he, uh, he heard about it and uh, notified my dad and once my dad uh, looked into it, he told us to check what you guys would like to study. And uh, we came across EMU. Uh, the, uh, going through the website was very easy. You navigate through it until you get to the registration online. And step by step, I followed the procedure until um, I submitted a request for it and they sent me an acceptance letter. After sending me acceptance letter, I just printed a copy for me and my brother each of us being applied and we just headed to EMU and uh, straight from there as I explained we came to the island and the whole experience started from there. So the flights are connected via Turkey so they you are. need to take a transit flight from Yes, you can. I took it from Turkey, from Libya to Turkey to Turkey to Cyprus. It was a very smooth ride of course. If 
we are going to talk about the dormitories, we can say that we have EMU dormitories and we have the private dormitories on campus. These dormitories are differing in the service space and the facilities that they provide. By the facilities, what do we mean? We have um, different areas and facilities of uh, multiple uh, in, in dormitories that we have. We also have DAO 1, DAO 2, DAO 3, all of these being dormitories across uh, and throughout the faculty and uh, faculties and also through the campus. We have uh, separate dormitories, each one for a different shape and size and different likings of people. And uh, we also have, sometimes in the orientation when the semester starts, we have like a little theater in front of uh, Dao 2. Mm. And we just uh, have uh, like a small gathering of bean bags and a sort of movie night, per se. And it was uh, a lovely experience with uh, all the friends that you meet and uh, new faces that you start to gather up with. And uh, it's just sharing uh, a, a lovely time with everyone. Mostly in EMU dormitories, we have the double room, triple room, and the core double room opportunities. These opportunities bring different price ranges for the students. So for EMU standard dormitories, the prices are between 2,500, 2,900 Turkish Lira to 8,000 Turkish Lira. But 8,000 Turkish Lira room means you're staying single and yeah. it's different selection of the yeah, dormitory. Yeah. Also we have more than 14 or 13 dormitories private on campus yeah. where they have different facilities according to the student selection. Of course, <laughs> various types of uh, dormitories out there for your choosing. As you can see how when uh, we also have, um, when it comes to, to English, you don't even need to learn uh, English right away because also EMU provides English uh, uh, level teaching and as well. So I had my friend coming from Libya. Mm -hmm. He had not a single word of English. He has been here for two years and uh, the, the friend of mine, he's almost fluent in it because EMU offered the English prep and he finished it in a semester and uh, he was back on track. So the English language is very useful and EMU offers it. Yeah. So what are the English language requirements? Uh, are students with valid documents showing their language level? Mm -hmm. For example, IELTS, TOEFL, GCSE or the equivalent can be exempted from the English preparatory program. However, as you said, students who have no documents regarding their language level are required to take the EMU FLEPS English proficiency exam. And uh, the teachers are evaluating their results and they decide whether they need to study in the English preparatory school or they can move on to their program. Precisely. So to get to be able to get more information about the exemption criteria and the required level of English for each faculty, please visit our website. Yes, let's talk about admission requirements for undergraduate programs. Uh, photocopies of higher secondary school certificate and transcript. One, passport size photograph photocopy of the passport relevant page or birth, birth certificate and the copy of proof of English proficiency if you have any with you. And please note that uh, we like you to uh, upload your translated documents while you're doing your admission application. So Let's move on to admission requirements for graduate programs. This is a little bit more detailed, actually. Um, you, need to, uh, an, you need to upload an official transcript of all university level, bachelor 
or master courses taken. A comparative mark grade table if CGPA on the transcript is not out of four. Also, you need to upload attested photocopies of diplomas received from a university or equivalent. Documentation of scores received for English and academic proficiency exams. And also, three letters of references are needed. But it's not required for our EMU graduates, of course. Yeah. And we, we need, you need to upload a photocopy of your passport or ID card and a passport size photograph, program specific documents like architecture, PhD and master like, uh, are required for portfolio and a proposal for PhD program applications. And uh, we can talk about transfer student applications as well or associate degree holders. Students who are hold an associate degree or a national diploma can apply as a transfer student to the bachelor degree programs of the Eastern Mediterranean University. The requirements for transfer applications to the Eastern Mediterranean University are uh, transfer applications should be the second, third, fourth and fifth semesters. Associate degree or national diploma holders generally start from the 5th September. Students should not have been dismissed from a university. All required modules should have been completed from previous classes. CGPA should be minimum 2 out of 4 or the equivalent. Yes. So I believe we have answered all the questions that we have on the comment section yeah. from our students. You might want to check again because they might have sent more as we spoke. Yeah. Let's check them out and see what's going on in the comment section. Let's see. Yes, also our office is online and supporting us and they have been replied to some questions mm. and international dot center at emu.edu.tr is mm. going to reply them That's as soon cool. as they receive their email addresses. And Mr. Elvin is saying hi from Azerbaijan. <laughs> He's our graduate. We can say <laughs> Hello hi. And Hello. <laughs> some of our students were asking about the fees. Mm. And maybe we need to give some information about the fees and the scholarships mm. that we have. So, like, I know that um, undergrad fees kind of differ. So, what can you tell us about uh, each and every uh, undergrad program that we have? First of all, we have 50% scholarship opportunities for our international students. By 50%, we mean the students are going to pay the half of their annual tuition fee. So, if a program costs uh, $8,569, the students are going to pay half of it, which is 4,484.50 wow. and most of our programs are have, they are having the similar prices Faculty of Arts and Sciences, Business and Economics, Business and Finance, Communication and Media Studies plus Computing and Technology costs 4,484.50 per year with 50% scholarship. scholarship Man, that's like, <laughs> they're getting a deal from that one you know? and we also want to mention until 30 of August, students will receive 5% more scholarship, which is totally going to be 55%. Because due to coronavirus and... The uh, unfortunate issues that we're dealing with in this pandemic, that's been tough on all of us, I'm sure. So what they need to do to receive this 5% scholarship, is there any requirements? This 5 plus uh, scholarship is only valid until a specific date and the students needs to apply, register and pay their tuition fees unless they won't be available. They have to finish the procedures before yes. 30 mm -hmm. I'm sure, right? Yes. The 
other prizes that we have for our faculties are Faculty of Engineering, Faculty of Architecture, Faculty of Education, Faculty of um, Engineering will cost 5,440 and the other programs like Pharmacy will have 25 to 50 percent merit-based scholarship opportunities. However, Faculty of Dentistry and Medicine Unfortunately, we do not have any scholarship opportunities for these faculties. And the prices will differ like 4,043 for schools like competing in technology, tourism and hospitality and health services. And also the school that we mentioned for our students, English prep school that prepares students for the faculties will cost 4,751. Hmm. But uh, from after you graduate, we have uh, master's courses that are, I think, all the same. Right? Like they're around uh, 1,500 per the per annually, and uh, per semester we have half of that because you're, you're going to be going for half a semester, half a year anyway. So uh, unlike the undergrad, it does not differ whether uh, you're in architecture, whether you're in medicine, whether you're in business. It's all going to be the same price. Yes, it only differs from master or PhD. Huh, I understand. Mm -hmm. This is a more detailed calculation. Mm -hmm. We have a tuition fee calculator on our page where students can log in to emu.edu.tr. Under prospective students title, they can click on tuition fee calculator. They can select their program. They can select the scholarship type that they have and they will see the thesis, non-thesis program with their scholarship details. But basically, and approximately, we can say that a program costs 776 US dollars. This price is per course, per mm. course they are going to pay. And it depends on the course you take. So maybe you have a idea about the courses that you have and the You, you can take various ones, you know, through, um, uh, there are two types of roads you can take on masters. You can take with thesis, mm -hmm. that's going to take you uh, four semesters, or without thesis, that will take you three semesters. Mm -hmm. So um, during those, you are um, eligible to select any course, but usually you speak to your advisor for that, so they can help you on which courses you should take. Personally, I took uh, some of the helping of research methodologies me entering from architecture undergrad to masters, I had no clue of what I was doing when I entered masters at first. But with the help of some courses that benefited my uh, knowledge, uh, such as the research methodologies, it helped me understand the master's life and how you can, uh, you can research through many articles and, all and such. So um, getting used to masters was a different game, but it was uh, a lovely journey nonetheless. Also, I need to mention that uh, we have, due to the current pandemic situation, the amount of deposit to be paid in order to receive a confirmation letter has been reduced. Hmm. To what? To 500 US dollars. This is f uh, applicable to all the programs. That's, right. That's So it's helping out people that are currently stuck with things that they have to deal with. Definitely. It was... Uh, but this applies to all the programs except uh, medicine and dentistry. Mm -hmm. However, uh, this was quite higher before and in order for students to receive a confirmation letter, they need to pay this money. So applying to a university after paying and receiving your confirmation letter means that your name is going to be delivered to your embassy mm -hmm. because you need to collect a visa to yes. travel. Hmm. Makes it uh, so you can collab with your your country yes. and they so can help out. Helping the students. Yes. So, the types of the payments. We have received some questions about this. Yes. Students can pay online or via bank transfers. And all our bank account details and online payment link is available on www.emu.edu.tr. If we are going to talk about the scholarship opportunities, 
in details the 50 percent scholarship so what what are the various types of 50 uh, percent scholarships that we have here uh, upon admission for all faculties except the ones that we have mentioned uh, faculty of pharmacy may offer 25 to 50 percent and the only qualification for the 50 percent scholarship is to be eligible for the program that you're applying for The hundred percent scholarship opportunities. Do you have have uh, any idea about the hundred percent? As we stated from before, mm -hmm. we had the uh, the sports grad that can uh, athleticize their their way to a hundred uh, percent scholarship, and also we have the uh, the high honor student. If you were to get a 4.0 GPA, you would get uh, the hundred percent scholarship, meaning they'd just return your your fee that you paid directly back to you. And also, um, if you're working as a full-time research assistant, you are also exempted from the fees and you are 100% scholarship. So uh, EMU tries to offer as much help as they can mm -hmm. to the students, you know. Yes. yes, and we have just received a question from Mahmoud asking us, how do you increase the scholarship of an outstanding student? And this 100% scholarship application includes this. So if a student has outstanding from their high school, they can send us an email Perfect. at scholarship at emu.edu.tr with their acceptance letter. First, they need to apply and get mm. accepted. After that, with their transcripts, scores and certificates, they can apply. And we will have, we have already um, a committee that That evaluates. helps the students and all yes. that. Understandable. That's really good because it shows that um, the student that has a high honor from their country can also collab with EMU and uh, send uh, a required letter that they needed to uh, show that w EMU will offer a 100% scholarship and also it helps them out and we have a committee that will dedicate itself to just helping you collab with your governmental uh, country as well. So what else uh, do we have on the comment section? Do you have anything, uh, any other questions that we might have missed? We have questions about the online classes or mm. will, will classes be offered on campus this, summer, this September mm. or will all be offered online? I think um, this is a general question that everybody's been uh, yes. talking about and yes. on, on everybody's minds. Um, Personally, um, I loved the online course because it really uh, got everybody comfortable and they understood how to uh, manage their time. There were recorded sessions so you can go back to them whenever you want. All the information was given. So it was very helpful for the students. Mm -hmm. But some people might not say the same. So um, whether or not next semester is going to be online or uh, back to classes really depends on the current pandemic. If we clear up and we have uh, solved this pandemic, of course we'd go back to EMU's campus, but if the current situation prolongs and stays the same, we have to uh, keep ensured that everybody's still safe and we're going to resort to online courses. But hopefully we'll, uh, we'll find a cure and we'll get through this together. Some students are asking if we have any students from Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> we have so many people from Nigeria. A yes. good friend of mine is David. I stayed in the summer school. We were assistants mm -hmm. and uh, we stayed in the same room and he had the best Nigerian food that he was making. Something with chicken, rice and sugar apparently. It's, uh, it's a weird mix but good times with uh, Nigerian people. So we have given information about the scholarships, visa and admission. Maybe for further information we can suggest the online chat on our website and also the WhatsApp line so that the students can contact us and they can ask their questions in details. And then they just get an answer to a reply whenever yes. they need it to. Yes, so our team is ready and... <laughs> They're waiting for you, so just hit that uh, button and just look at them. And we have it on WhatsApp as well, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. So WhatsApp, you can just ask whatever questions you have. Make sure to ask them uh, anything that you need, and I'm sure they're happy to help. Thank you very much for listening us and attending to our webinar. This is Jalal. <laughs> That's Isra. My name is Rikan.
We loved having you, and uh, we await your arrival.